So joining me here on the BAFTA Games red carpet is Michael McMaster, a member of House House, which is a studio that put together a little indie game you've maybe heard of, Untitled Goose Game. Of course you've heard of it and we are very excited to have you here, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me on this lovely red carpet. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Thank you. Looks weirdly, you know, familiar to, uh, to both of us, <laughs> I imagine. It's there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so obviously Untitled Goose Game has been a runaway. I mean, I had to choose that word, didn't I? It's been quite literally a runaway success. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we we were a bit surprised by that, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, one of the things that I loved finding out last year was that this literally stemmed from kind of a, an in-joke in your in your work slack where one of you just posted <laughs> a goose and was like, should we make a game about this? So, I mean, did, at any point did you think, this was only funny to us, this isn't going to be funny to anybody else? I think we spent basically the first year of production of this game assuming that it was only going to be funny to us uh, before we actually announced the game to anyone. Uh, we, we, yeah, we, it seemed like a very niche gag that we'd sort of, yeah, we, we didn't really realize that so many people have such strong feelings about geese. Uh, so when we actually finally announced it, uh, announced the game, uh, suddenly everyone was very excited to play a game of Atta Goose. We were like, oh, hang on, I think we've tapped into something that's actually like quite universal here. Uh, we definitely didn't see that coming. So, I mean, how does it feel to be BAFTA nominated because of a horrible goose? Uh, yeah, it feels amazing to be nominated for a BAFTA. Um, it's, it's very nice to be nominated for an award that my mum has heard of. Uh, yeah, we're very, we're very, we feel very lucky. And so obviously, you know, you are um, a very small studio, I think that's fair to say, and you're up against, yep. you know, some huge AAA titles. So is there anybody that you kind of looked at the nominations and thought, you know, how are we sat here with Untitled Goose Game next to this? Oh, good question. Uh, I think like there were so many nominees that, yeah, it sort of all washed over us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I couldn't even pick one. Um, I think seeing us up against like Death Stranding in in some of the awards that we've that we've been nominated for previously has just been a very strange feeling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I have to say, I think one of my favourite things about uh, people finding out that obviously you were nominated for a BAFTA was the the various ideas that were floated around Twitter about how if you won you should accept an award. Uh, lots of them <laughs> obviously <laughs> involved geese flooding the stage. Yeah. I'm obviously very sad that we're not going to see that. So what have you been, you know, occupying your time with now that we are all officially in lockdown? Uh, we have been sort of still trying to keep working, but obviously at a very reduced capacity. Uh, so for me personally, I've basically just spent two weeks playing Animal Crossing. Uh, that's been my that's been my life for the last little while and doing jigsaw puzzles. Uh, and that's basically it. Yeah. Amidst like answering emails when I can. Yeah. <laughs> We, do you know what? A lot of people have said jigsaws. Like a, recently yeah. when I asked on Twitter what people are up to, lots of people said jigsaws. What, what oh. jigsaw are you doing? I've got one right here, ready to go. Oh my. Uh, this is <laughs> so only a 500 piece, so that'll be quick, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, like it. I feel like I'm really missing out on some <laughs> kind of big Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a real boom time for jigsaws, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, this... This has just been a, a smash hit. I don't think, you know, obviously we've uh, we've just seen how much people have fallen in love with this goose. And like you said, you know, it, it kind of came out of nowhere. So do you feel a bit worried that you might have to replicate this success next time? Or are you kind of pleased that you, you know, you got a huge hit under your belt and now you can be a bit more, you know, creative or, I mean, how much more creative can you be than a horrible goose? But, you know. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't think any of us have any intention to like, like we never set out to make a game of this kind of, uh, that th had this kind of exposure or success. Uh, and I don't think we would do a very good job if we'd sat down and tried to replicate that success. Uh, so I think, you know, we, we've had this amazing experience releasing this one game. I think whatever we do next, we'll need to sort of bring ourselves back down and, and, and keep our expectations nice and low, which they pretty much always have been. I think we're very good at being pessimistic about the work that we do. Oh dear. Well, I think you, I'm, I'm sorry to warn you, but you might be the only ones who are pessimistic about whatever All right. <laughs> comes out of house house. Oh, someone's, someone's pessimistic. <laughs> 
So obviously you guys are based in Melbourne and, you know, I think one of the things that really surprised me lately is reading some of the great articles about the Australian kind of game design scene and how there are a lot, a lot more um, indie, indie studios there and also just a lot more bigger games, a lot bigger games than people might think. So, you know, do you think this has been not necessarily, you know, put Australia on the map because obviously it was there before there were some fantastic studios, Absolutely. but do you think it's kind of highlighted just some of the fantastic work that's, that's coming out of Australia? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so we've been very lucky to be making games in Australia. I think it's it's a really great place, and specifically Victoria, the state that we're in. Uh, we our game wouldn't have existed without support from our um, from our state government um, through Film Victoria, um, and so it's been really nice to be able to make games within this particular scene because yeah, it is a, a very supportive community with a lot of. Uh, really interesting commercial work happening and then a lot of really interesting sort of non-commercial experimental work happening. So yeah, it's a very lively scene, basically. Well, finally, what's next for House House? It doesn't have to be a big reveal, although, you know, preferably if it could be. <laughs> sure. Uh, what's next is uh, I'm playing a lot of Animal Crossing. Uh, we're very slowly answering emails. Uh, I think we're, we're lying low for the time being. I think uh, we will have something to announce eventually at some point in the future, which is about as specific as I can get. Uh, but yeah, for the time being, we're like, if we could get like a few hours of work done a day, that's plenty. I think that's all anybody can ask right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much. It was really lovely to chat to you. I'm not at all jealous that you're in Melbourne and I'm in the UK. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still, you know, sending you my best wishes and lots of luck for your BAFTA noms tonight. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.